welcome back to my channel Mallorca Under the Sun and today I have a very different video for you. Now we are going to take a look around a traditional Spanish supermarket and I'm going to give you an idea of the cost of the essentials and also some of the Spanish foods that you can try and buy here in Mallorca. <laughs> Now I've chosen to come down to Mercadona in Son Caliu, which is right next to Parma Nova in Calvia. Now the Mercadona chain, um, they have supermarkets all over the island and it's very mid-priced. It's a little bit cheaper than Corte Inglés's food hall and also Yuroski, but it's a bit more expensive than Little and Aldi too. So, so let's go inside and check it out. So the first place we're going to head to is the ready food section and you can see that you can pick up portions of paella and it's only four euros fifty per portion as well as various other types of tapas if you just want to come in here and get a quick takeaway meal so there's a whole section here called platos preparadas so if you're feeling lazy you can come in here and get ready-made tapas or lasagna Okay, so you have to try some alioli. Alioli is garlic mayonnaise and it's stronger than anything you'd get in Northern Europe. And you can dip some bread in it while you're having a drink or aperitif before you have dinner. But just watch out if you're going on a date later because the taste of garlic does tend to linger for a long time. Okay, so in the summer, one of the best things you can drink um, or you can eat is gazpacho, which is a cold tomato soup and it comes in many different varieties. But you can get a pack of gazpacho for just one euro 68. But for something really different, they have something called sal morejo, which is even thicker. It's thickened with flour. Don't drink too much of this unless you're having it for an evening meal because it can really, really fill you up. So we have all of these different foods here. And if you're not sure exactly what you bu you're buying, then I have a great tip. So just check out this Google Translate app. Hit the camera setting and hover it over whatever it is you are trying to translate to get an instant translation. So we're just coming up to probably the most important section in Mercadona and that is the ham and pork section. Now many of you will know how important pigs are in, in a traditional Spanish diet. And if you just take one look at this ham on counter here, which is a ham on serrano counter, you'll see just all the different options that are available. So you can buy a leg of ham for anything from 39 to 125 euros depending on how long it has been cured for and these are really popular purchases for parties or at Christmas or you can just buy it by the slice. There's just about every single type of ham that you can get here and it varies in price so you can pick up some slices of ham from just two euros. Um, some Iberico Sartrichon which is like a sausage like salami for 195. They also have regular ham that you find in the UK and they call this ham on York. So if you're looking for a regular ham, just ask for this and it's, uh, it's this stuff here. It's very cheap as well, two euros for absolutely hundreds of slices. Okay, here's, so, here's something that's really popular with my daughter's friends at school. It's called fouet. It's kind of sausage, it's like a pork sausage and you slice it up and you have it with the Kaylee biscuits. One euro 95 for a whole big stick of it. If sausage is your thing, you can pick up an entire sausage here for €2.76. Soprasada, super spicy sausage. Very, very popular here in Mallorca. You can get a whole one for €6.72. So Mercadona has a great vegetarian section. You can get seitan products here and just really meat alternatives so you've got um, your your veggie burgers and they're quite inexpensive too just two euros 40. coming down here as well you've got other breaded options and these are quite good as well these are kind of like uh, alternative chicken grilled slices i've had these before as well they're quite nice just two euros 60. Okay, so you'll notice in Mercadona that um, everything has this Hacendado brand. We're in, the, we're in the cheese section. Now, Hacendado is their own brand. So just to give you an idea, um, we're just looking at some selections of cheeses here. Now, Corrado means that it is a strong cheese, so take a look out for that. And if you see something that is semi-Corrado, which uh, this one is here, it's a little bit milder. And also very handily as well, they've put the pictures of the animals where the cheese actually comes from as well. So this is a mixture of cow, goat and sheep cheese. 
and you can also pick up mild and mature cheddar. Now Saturdays tend to be a big fish day here in many of the supermarkets, they get big deliveries so you can come in and pick up the day's catch, you can also ask them to fillet it and gut it as well, so you don't have to do any of the cleaning. There's some lovely looking squid here for €9.95 Euros a kilo and prawns as well for €12 Euros a kilo. So one thing, if you're buying anchovies out here, make sure you head towards the refrigerated section because uh, this is where they're kept. In other countries they may sell them in cans, but you can see they're just €1.70 here. If you're looking for something a little bit traditional, you can get snails in caldo, which is kind of like a soup. €3 Euros a portion. Huge big melons are just 49 cents for a kilo. If one melon is too big for you, you can pick up half a melon for about two euros. Now of course you can't come to the supermarket without getting some olives. The black olives are really tasty, you can get a whole jar of them for two euros 90. Also lemon stuffed olives for one euro 30. They're really nice, I'm going to pick up a can of those. Well, something that's super popular out here in Mallorca are Kaylees and they're made locally on the islands. They're these little biscuits. You actually eat them with ham or cheese or even chocolate too um, as a snack. We've got a whole section here of instant food for breakfast like ready-made croissants. But I remember moving to Mallorca and being absolutely addicted to these panda leches which are super nice for the coffee. They're absolutely full of garbage, just absolutely, probably have absolutely no nutritional value whatsoever. But for €1.10 for um, a kilo of them you can't go wrong. And there's stuff here for kids as well, kids love this stuff like chocolate chip filled buns. Again not really great for you. Um, and magdalenas as well, there's always a uh, big trend for eating magdalenas, all these little cupcakes for breakfast. Once again, super unhealthy, but if you're here on holiday, I mean, who cares? Just come and try, try them. So if you're looking for souvenirs to take back home with you, pick up some turrones. Now, normally you see these around Christmas time, and it's kind of like a nugget or a nougat filled with almonds. Super delicious, much cheaper to buy it here than at the airports. Okay, so while I'd really recommend going into your local bakery to pick up your bread, you can also get it in Mercadona and it's as cheap as 40 cents for a fresh baguette. And you can get all sorts of different varieties of bread here too, including the pan moreno, um, which is quite popular here as well, a rustic type of bread that you can use for, for lunch, as well as other bigger loaves too, which you can get sliced up too. Very, very cheap. And if you want to try some traditional pastries, just head to the pastry section. Again, it's all really cheap. And if you check out these, uh, these little delights, I mean, you can pick stuff up for around, you know, for under a euro. And of course as well, coca de trampo as well, that's really popular. These are, I call them pizza without cheese, but they're very, very traditional here. And you can pick up a slice for just one euro 85. Okay, so I'm now approaching a wall of UHT milk. You can get it in little cartons for kids, so one euro 35 for six. But UHT milk is really popular here. Obviously, because of the heat, you don't have to store it in the fridge if it hasn't been opened. And one carton of semi-skimmed is just one euro 26. But you can also pick up fresh milk from the fridges and at just 78 cents for, I think that's a litre, yes, a litre. Again, really good value, but it does, it does go off a little bit quicker. Now, if you want to try something traditional, you, you have to check out horchata fresca. It's a drink here that's so popular in the summer months. It's actually made of tiger nuts. Sell it everywhere. You find it in cartons. It's €1.90 for a bottle. Okay, so you can drink the water out here in Mallorca, but many people prefer to get mineral water. You can get a huge, massive 8 litre bottle for just 73 cents. Okay, so we're in everyone's favourite area, which is the wine section. I mean, you can get a half decent bottle of wine for €3.15. 
and two euros 35 but it does get really cheap as well if we if we just keep walking down this aisle obviously some bottles are better than others and to get something really good probably need to spend more than uh, sort of 10 12 euros I mean the white wines as well so it cost around two euros 15 for a bottle of white or three euros 35 which is super cheap Okay, so if you're looking for a bottle of Carver, um, a bottle of Freshenet is just four euros 45, but you can get it as cheap as one euro 92. I mean, there's just so many options here and none of them are really that expensive. So coming up to the beers as well, my favorite beer is Estrella. Absolutely superb beer. I think it's uh, from Barcelona, it originates from Barcelona. But they do have a factory here on the island. You can get a whole pack of six for just two euros ten. Another really nice beer is Estrella Galicia, and again you can get a whole um, carton of twelve bottles for just five euros forty. Okay, so just to give you an idea of how much spirits are, you can get a bottle of gin for thirteen euros. Um, absolute vodka is twelve euros seventy. You can get a cheaper version for eight seventy five. And then also just diving down here, you've got Bailey's for. 11.99 but the one thing that you have to try is a drink called Tunnel and it's a Yerbaz. It's a, a drink that you traditionally drink in Spanish bars after you've had dinner. So Yerbaz helps with digestion and the, I would recommend getting the Mezcladas because it is actually the nicest but I mean if you're out in Parma or you're out in any of the Spanish bars just ask for a bottle of Tunnel but you can get a whole bottle of it here for 10 euros. Okay, so let me know, do you think these prices are cheaper here in Mallorca than they are back home? Let me know in comments below. And if you're new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and come and join me on my Facebook group, also called Mallorca Under the Sun. Okay, so thanks very much for watching everyone and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye for now.